This calculation we have to solve using uh, Norton's theorem. It's a question taken from the activity in our textbook. It's question 7 and it reads as follows. A battery of 50 volts and a battery of 60 volts with internal resistances of 0,4 ohms and 0,5 ohms respectively are connected in parallel to supply a load of 25 ohms. And we need to calculate the voltage drop across the 25 ohm resistor for 11 marks. Now you can see on the left hand side I've drawn the uh, fully labeled circuit diagram. So we have a fully labeled circuit diagram showing our 50 volt battery and our 60 volt battery with internal resistances of 0,4 ohms and 0,5 ohms and it's connected in parallel to a load resistor of 25 ohms. To do our calculation we can use Norton's equivalent circuit to help us. We have a single current source replacing the voltage sources and we have a single resistor known as Norton's resistance and that replaces the resistors in the circuit and that's connected in parallel to the load resistor. Okay, so let's take a look at our first uh, step that we need to take. Let me just grab my pen here. Alright, so to calculate the first step, to calculate Norton's current, that's the uh, short circuit current over here. After we've removed uh, the load resistor, uh, to calculate the short circuit current, which is the same as uh, Norton's current, and in this question it's nice and easy, we have two batteries, so we have I1 and we have I2, so therefore we can calculate the short circuit current and Norton's current, and so that's going to be equal to I1 plus I2. Right, so to calculate uh, I1, it'll be the EMF number 1 over the internal resistance number 1. To calculate I2, it'll be EMF 2 over the internal resistance 2. The first EMF is 50 volts, the internal resistance is uh, 0.4, the second EMF is 60 volts divided by 0.5 and that will give us our current. Okay, so we've got 125 amps and I2 is going to be 120 amps. So all we have to do is add that together, 125 plus uh, 120 and that will give us uh, 245 amps. Right, now that we've got Norton's current, we can go ahead and calculate Norton's resistance. Nice and easy, you can see that we've got a 0.4 ohm resistor and 0.5 ohm resistor. They are connected in parallel. So to calculate Norton's resistance, it will be 0.4 multiplied by 0.5 divided by 0 0.4 plus 0 0.5. The reason why I'm using the uh, product sum rule uh, because there are two resistors in parallel. Okay, so the answer we get there is 0 0.22, 0 0.22 ohms. Right, now that we've got Norton's resistance, we can go ahead and calculate the load current and the load voltage. You'll see that I've got um, the current, Norton's current, and we've got Norton's resistance. So we need to calculate IL, and essentially we can then calculate the volt drop across that load resistor. So to calculate IL, we use the current divider rule, and you can have a look on your formula sheet. You'll see that this formula is provided to you. Um, it is RN over RN plus RL multiply by IN and we've got all those values so all we do is we uh, substitute Norton's resistance is 0.222 over 0.222 and the load resistor of 25 times Norton's current and that was 245 amps and this gives us our load current of 2,15 five six amps right now we can actually calculate the volt drop let me just use a different color uh, to calculate the volt drop it'll be il times rl okay so all you do is substitute the line current of 2,156 multiplied by the load resistor of 25 and that gives us our voltage across the load resistor which is 53 comma nine volts all right thanks very much 
This is our last video for Norton's theorem.